Welcome back everyone to the second week of this Open SAP course. Now that you're already familiar with the basic concepts of our integration strategy for the Intelligent Enterprise, let's double click into the enabling suite qualities and the services that the SAP Business Technology Platform has to offer. In this first unit of week two, we'll start with the SAP integration suite. In the intro chapter of this course, we already talked about today's dynamically changing environments and business demands, and how digital technology can drive digital transformation. Speaking with our customers, we hear that they typically want to achieve three key goals with their core integrations. First, achieve seamless process integration across IT landscapes with cloud, on-premise, and legacy applications in the mix. Next, it's also about total cost of ownership, TCO, in general, this is one of the key reasons for choosing cloud over on-premise technology. And of course, companies want to keep their overall IT costs under control. And very important too, companies need to modernize and flexibly adapt to new business models. The SAP integration suite can help to solve these challenges. Let's look under the hood at how this is done. A key principle for the SAP integration suite is that it follows a holistic integration approach. Now, what's meant by that? With the integration suite, we cater for many integration styles, patterns, use cases. On this graphic here, you can see the key capabilities of SAP integration suite. Let's start with cloud integration, which is the capability for end-to-end -end process integration scenarios, application to application and business to business integration. So basically anything around process integration is delivered by the cloud integration capability. Some of you might know this capability already under the previous name, cloud platform integration or CPI. Then we have API management as another capability of SAP integration suite, which provides end-to-end -end lifecycle management of APIs from creation down to the deprecation of APIs. Then event mesh for event-based integration for high-end processing of events. Then we have open connectors as a capability with 170 plus adapters for the integration of non-SAP applications. Here you have a harmonized UI independent of the backend applications that you connect to. With the same look and feel, you can configure the adapters to connect to a non-SAP application without having to know all the details of an API yourself and how to connect to these applications. Integration advisor and trading partner management both provide B2B capabilities that help to maintain, operate, and monitor B2B scenarios. Then data integration. The focus of data integration is to integrate on database level, big data, gigabytes, terabytes of data. These are the typical use cases for data integration. Whereas cloud integration is focused on process integration, where you can connect via APIs to your backend applications. And last but not least, integration assessment capability, which is based on SAP's integration solution advisory methodology, or ISIM for short. It provides information to enterprise architects when to use which of these different integration capabilities and how to mature your individual integration landscape. The SAP integration suite runs on multiple hyperscaler environments, be it Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, Amazon Web Services, and Alibaba Cloud. Also a word on accelerators, as shown here in the yellow pillars of this graphic, here, it's all about having built-in integration to accelerate your integration projects. So we don't just provide an empty platform, an empty sheet, if you will. The integration platform comes with rich integration content for the integration of SAP and non-SAP applications. We have really taken care of the past years to build out that rich pre-built content where many years of integration expertise from SAP and partners have gone into these integration templates that you can take and then directly deploy in your integration environment. So that's a big plus from our point of view. So that was the big picture. Here comes a bigger picture even. In the middle portion of the integration suite stack, you can see again the different integration capabilities like cloud integration, API management, and so forth. I just explained about these. These make up an integration platform as a service. On top, 
we have pre-packaged content that supports the integration for the intelligent end-to-end -end processes and scenarios across SAP applications. And we have pre-packaged content for the integration between SAP and non-SAP applications too. We will look at these accelerators in some more detail in a minute. And then additionally, we also provide so-called industry-specific clouds that you see on top of this slide. These are tailored integration solutions for dedicated use cases. Like the SAP Integration Suite Managed Gateway, that's the new name for the older name SAP Ariba Cloud Integration Gateway. Here buyers and sellers can come together and buy and sell goods from each other. Or the Pharma Network or SAP Information Collaboration Hub for Life Sciences, as it's officially named which provides a track and trace solution in the pharmaceutical industry for the creation of medicine project, for example. Multibank connectivity as a next example for the exchange of payment documents between banks and corporate customers and so on. So for dedicated use cases, we provide these so-called industry specific cloud solution, which all run on top of the integration suite leveraging OData APIs, which create, for example, iFlows, deploy integration flows, undeploy integration flows after the integration scenarios have been successfully executed. So they all run on the same integration platform as the service capabilities we just touched upon in the iPaaS layer, and that you as a customer can also leverage on your own for your custom use cases for any-to-any -any integrations. Now, the SAP integration suite is used in large scale. So customers use it to process more than 35 million of API calls on a single day by a single customer. This here is just one example. Similarly, in the cloud integration capability, more than 15 to 20 million messages on a single day. So on a single day, we see here that customers have huge adoption numbers. And we are super excited about the growing numbers of customers and partners that want to learn about the SAP integration suite. You're one of them too now. At the end, you can find a lot of information about further individual learning efforts. As promised, let's now have a closer look at the accelerators, our prepackaged content. The SAP integration suite comes with a rich set of prepackaged integration content. Like for cloud integration capability, there are more than 2,600 prepackaged integration scenarios available for the integration of SAP as well as non-SAP applications like Salesforce, like ServiceNow, like Workday, but also, of course, for integration between SAP applications. Altogether, we have more than 200 adapters available on SAP integration suite to connect into any applications, 280 business event types, and we provide prepackaged content for the integration with government agency around the globe that have different standards how to report taxes. All this prepackaged content is published on the SAP API Business Hub, which is the central repository where you can find a lot of information, including all these artifacts that are available for SAP integration suite. From our experience, you can actually be five times quicker and achieve 10 times savings for your integration projects by using these integration templates. Of course, these are average numbers, which can vary based on use case and complexity. But let me show you now what I mean. For that, let's jump to the SAP API Business Hub. This is now the SAP API Business Hub, a free and publicly accessible website where you can very intuitively browse and navigate the integration content by various categories. We are going now with the end-to-end -end process for recruit to retire. We get various solution variants offered for cloud and hybrid deployment. We want to choose the sub-process hire to require cloud deployment. And here, what we want to do is dive into the top level view, the business view, the so-called value flow diagram. Here, the information is displayed nicely about the sub-processes and process steps. We want to look at record attendances, and what we see here now is how the information is passed from the SAP SuccessFactor modules to the SAP S4HANA cloud. 
and that a mediated integration with SAP Integration Suite is recommended. And we're now just one click away from the technical layer, the integration flow, where you can here very nicely see how the integration magic happens. And with the help of various mappings, transformation steps, the information is passed from the source to the target system. And you can imagine here already from that first glimpse the complexity and effort involved that it would take if you would create such an integration flow from scratch and on your own. Now, this was just a short glimpse into the integration content on the API Business Hub to show you the rich documentation we share and that it's not only about best practice documentation, but also about technical integration artifacts ready to be deployed in your IT landscape. Besides the recruit to retire example we just saw, we of course also offer integration content for the other leading end-to-end -end processes for the intelligent enterprise across the value chain and for many more use cases and scenarios. Of course, the SAP integration suite offering is constantly being evolved to cater for customer requirements as well as latest industry trends and standards. Recent innovations at the time of this recording include, first, we keep on investing in API-led integration, for example, with the API Business Hub Enterprise. So basically here customers can have their own API Business Hub. It's like a local and custom API Business Hub where you can publish APIs from SAP and non-SAP gateways with your own clients. Second key highlight is B2B integration, integration of business partners. Here we have delivered a trading partner management capability where customers can manage and monitor their B2B scenarios. Third use case, just recently added to SAP Integration Suite, is event-driven integration. Of course, the SAP Event Mesh standard is already available for quite some while. Now, new is SAP Advanced Event Mesh, which targets high-volume use cases with more bandwidth, more throughput per time unit also with the option to have a distributed deployment of event progress. Then the fourth enhancement would be around integration governance. So we have recently enabled the integration assessment capability. They can manage in a tool-based approach the integration governance based on the ISAM methodology, which guides you now in a tool when to use which of the integration services. And many more governance capabilities have been introduced so, for example, we often get the question, what is now the replacement for the Enterprise Service Repository of Process Orchestration? We need a repository of reusable artifacts. And this is the designer perspective, where we basically provide in the cloud integration capability reusable artifacts like mapping and groovy scripts, and even more reusable artifacts. Schema and data types, message type editor will also come in a very near future. A further investment area, of course, we continue to invest in additional integration content and adapters. And one last, pretty important topic here. As some of you will already know, the end of maintenance for SAP process orchestration is planned for 2027, standard maintenance, and the extended maintenance until end of 2030. So SAP Integration Suite is the logical successor of SAP process orchestration. Also, because there's a ton of reuse options, big uh, mapping, schema definitions already can be used one-to-one -one from SAP Process Orchestration in SAP Integration Suite, as just mentioned. Multiple customers already migrated completely off from PO to SAP Integration Suite. For those customers who will not or cannot move all their systems to the cloud immediately, we announced a hybrid deployment op option for SAP Integration Suite at SAP TechEd 2020. The so-called Edge integration cell is a local runtime for SAP Integration Suite that enables you to run process integration, event integration, and API management scenarios, those three use cases, on-premise or in a private cloud. The Edge integration cell is planned to be generally available anytime soon. And last but not least, one capability which is still needed for migrating for multiple hundred thousands of integration scenarios, so tool-based migration tool, of course, is one of the key requirements of our customers. The PIPO assessment and migration tool is currently in beta too, so let's do a quick lab preview on what to expect here. 
So this is now the new UI, the new entry page for the SAP integration suite where you can very conveniently access the lifecycle phases from discover, design, to configure and monitor, and also the single capabilities and artifacts now. We're now accessing the migration assessment uh, area. This is currently in beta, as you can see at the time of recording. We want to familiarize ourselves with the rules that SAP has specified for the migration, for example, sender adapter types, and we have given an estimation here of the effort and weighting that goes with the migration. We have prepared for that little demo purpose here a migration and assessment run up front. Here's already the result. You see the overall migration status and effort evolved. Involved. In, of course, you can also have it per single scenarios and the migration templates that go with it. And also what you can do is then download that uh, migration assessment result for you to further investigate in an Excel or PDF format. This is now the decisive step of where we want to do the migration itself of the assets with the help of a migration wizard. For that, of course, we need to first connect to the source system, the PO system first. Here with that wizard, we will also enter then very conveniently the single filter information metadata here now for one step with a little demo fast forward. You can imagine that this is also then in general available done for multiple scenarios. Already here we see the migration result. So this is the known cloud integration capability um, iFlow designer perspective, which comes already with the migrated mappings. And then in a final step, as usual, you can do the iFlow editing. Here, for example, we would need to add the connectivity details and then in a final step, deploy the artifact to finalize the migration. With that, we're already at the end of this unit. I hope you liked it. To summarize, what did we cover? We have seen how the SAP Integration Suite is a versatile integration platform that covers all integration styles and patterns, which rich connectivity options and prepackaged integration content to jumpstart your integration projects. The Integration Suite is a fully vendor-managed multi-cloud service that runs on major hyperscalers with deployment options for cloud and now also for hybrid deployments. And we support customers in many ways in their SAP process orchestration, process integration, migration to SAP Integration Suite. Here's a collection of further readings and links for you to get started. Especially if you want to get your hands around our tooling yourself, I can recommend the SAP BTP free tier offering and the SAP Discovery Center missions to you. I hope you enjoyed watching this unit. And with that, over to Arne, who will continue with the topic of SAP Master Data Integration and Aligned Domain Models.